Hey everybody, Matt here from Matt's Movies, Music and More, welcoming you to this week's movie review. The movie I'm going to be talking about today is a 1980s slasher movie that you've probably never heard of. The film is the 1983 movie Sweet 16, directed by Jim Sotis and stars Bo Hopkins, Susan Strasberg and Patrick McNee. The film is about Melissa, who is a 15 year old girl who is new in town, moved there with her mum and dad. And um, what happens is at the beginning of the movie, it focuses on a bar in which these guys are at a bar having drinks and having a good time. And all of a sudden, this old man called Greyfeather, who happens to be uh, an old Indian, like a cowboy in Indian type, and the guys who are drinking are making fun of him. And all of a sudden, from out of nowhere, his uh, grandson, Jason, walks in and is very, very offended and angry with this, that he actually wants to try and stand up for his grandfather by sort of taking them on uh, before they all get told to sort of leave. So as they're leaving, uh, Melissa happens to show up and um, sort of says to Jason, oh, why don't you ditch the old man and come out with me and we can go and do some stuff or whatever. So he turns her down and... Um, what happens is, is instead two guys who happen to be watching on the side, Johnny and Hank, they're sort of making fun, going like, we didn't realise you were into little girls. And um, what happens is she ends up going up to Johnny, who happens to have his uh, brother's truck, and says, why don't you and take me out and we go out to the field or whatever and make out. So he's kind of like, oh, I can't turn that down. So he goes and decides to do that. And uh, they're making out in the fields or whatever. And before um, before anything happens, what happens is um, she decides to then sort of desert him and sort of wants to go home. So um, he ends up um, having to drive her home and drops her off. And all of a sudden her father shows up. Her father being played by the great Patrick McNee from The Avengers. And um, he's very angry. He's sort of like, you know, she's only 15 years old. She shouldn't be out this late. And... He's trying to do the, the classic father thing. And so the young guy obviously drives away. He's like, maybe I'll catch up with you some other time or whatever. So what happens is he ends up being so tired, obviously, from drinking and stuff like that. He pulls over um, on, a, on a field. And um, all of a sudden, um, what happens is um, he gets out of his truck and um, he goes and lies down. And all of a sudden, he gets killed. And... We don't know who the killer is because it's, it's the killer's not revealed till the very end of the movie. Um, I'm not going to spoil the ending of the movie, but I'm going to basically tell you that the movie mostly is a kind of who done it in the slasher movie because the movie really focuses around the sheriff of the town played by Bo Hopkins. Bo Hopkins is an actor you may recall who was in the uh, Alan Parker movie Midnight Express in which he played uh, a Texan policeman in that movie. Um, who I believe his character name in that was Tex. Um, but in this, he plays Dan Burke, who is the sheriff. And Hank, who I mentioned earlier, is actually his son. And he's got a daughter as well, who is called um, Joni. Oh, Marcy, sorry. Marcy is um, um, his daughter. And Marcy is kind of like a Nancy Drew type. She kind of wants to work out what's going on, because who killed Johnny? And then people are getting killed bit by bit. And... You have Susan Strasberg, who plays uh, Patrick McNee's wife, who is uh, Joni. Um, Joni's Melissa's mum. And um, it is a real murder mystery whodunit movie. Um, it's quite enjoyable. Um, the actors are very good in the film. Um, being a big fan of um, Patrick McNee anyway is great. Uh, but it's got an interesting cast of people, because obviously um, Susan Strasberg is obviously very well known. Um, but I'd like to talk more about the bit players that are in this movie because you have Dana Kimmel, who literally a year before this movie came out, appeared in Friday the 13th Part 2 as one of the victims in the movie. And you also have um, another guy called um, Steve Antin. Now, Steve Antin is a guy who comes from a real family background of show business. Um, and... Prior to him starring in Sweet 16, he had starred as one of the main characters in The Last American Virgin. And he was also in The Goonies um, as, I forget his character name in that, but he was like one of the older boys who goes out with Andy. And then when he ends up going under in the sewers or whatever, and he goes, Andy, you Goonie! 
And so seeing him in this movie was actually quite a surprise because um, I'd seen uh, The Last American Virgin and recognised him straight away. But with Bo Hopkin, I really like Bo Hopkin. I think um, he does a really good job in the role. And the movie is is quite enjoyable, actually. I mean, it's one of these like murder mystery type movies because obviously you've got red herrings throughout the film. And um, you can see that this movie was made on the cheap. Um, I don't know how well it would have done theatrically. I don't even know how much it was made for. But um, clearly it didn't make the box office money that they would have probably liked. It's probably one of those films that hit very, very big on the home video market, especially in America. Um, I recently viewed it um, on um, Blu-ray and um, I thought, yeah, I thought it was an enjoyable slasher movie. Um, it's not the best um, and it's no point the worst. It's... Um, it's pretty much one of those films that fits right in the middle. Um, I'm glad I've seen it. I'm glad I got to talk about it on the channel. Um, for me, it's one of those films. I'll probably never watch it again, but it wasn't a it wasn't a disappointment really. It did have some bits where it dragged, but then you do get that with some movies. So probably wasn't really much of a review to be honest, because I only sort of revealed half of the film. But sort of, I feel that what was best to say about this movie, without spoiling it, was to tell you the lead up to it. And really for you guys to check it out yourself. Um, so have you seen Sweet 16? Is it the sort of movie that you would fancy seeing? Have you ever heard of it even? Um, if you like this video be sure to like and subscribe and check out all the links in the video for the official Facebook, Twitter and Instagram as well as the YouTube channel of course. We'd love to hear from you and uh, hopefully you can suggest some titles that either we can talk about on my solo videos or maybe on my other uh, series of what did you think with my special guest. So that would be a good thing to do as well. So anyway, thank you very much guys and we'll catch up with you very soon. All the very best.